Welcome to the kitchen where delicious meals are made that don't come out of a box and aren't cooked in a microwave. I'm your host, The Cooking Millennial. Now if you don't already know, I just recently got back from a weekend trip to Seattle. And while I was there, I got some delicious ingredients that we'll be using for today's meal. And I also got a sunburn while I was there. Yes, thank you for noticing. Now as always, before we can get this video started, we need to open a delicious bottle of wine. Now because of the nature of today's meal, it is not going to be one of these bottles, however. I have something a little bit different, and I think it'll all make sense in just a moment. Now contrary to most of my videos, today we're going to be having a white wine. More specifically, a Chardonnay from one of the best wineries in my city. Arborcrest. Absolutely love them. Now why are we doing this? Well that's because today's meal is actually a seafood dish. I don't want to give you too many details, but if you know a little bit about wine, then you know that a white goes better with fish, and in most cases, poultry like chicken, things like that. Without further ado, let's open it up. Now, while I was in Seattle, I went to a very popular tourist attraction for Seattle, Pike's Place Market. If you don't know anything about Pike's Place Market, one of the most popular things there is the selection of fish that they have. That leads me into the dish that we'll be making today. I'm going to be making Parmesan crusted halibut. So let's get started. to 475 degrees Fahrenheit. Next, we'll want to whisk together our egg and our milk in a small bowl. Now, we'll want to mix together our Parmesan cheese, panko breadcrumbs, salt, pepper, and paprika in a separate bowl. Now we want to dip and coat our fish fillets in our egg and milk mixture, then dip and coat it in our panko bread mixture, and then put it into a lightly olive oil pan. We'll want to drizzle our melted butter over the top of our halibut fillets. It 
It's time to bake our fillets for about 10 to 15 minutes or until crispy and baked through. While our fillets bake, we can go ahead and prep our tomatoes and red onions. Now, in a pan over medium heat with some olive oil, we want to lightly grill our red onions. Now that the fish is done, it's time to serve it up, garnish it with our diced tomatoes, grilled red onions, and parsley. Alright guys, well here we have it, Parmesan Crusted Halibut. As usual, you already know, I'm really excited for this meal, especially since it came from Seattle, it's fresh, Ugh, and it smells delicious. I really wish that you could like smell through video right now, because this is, I'm, I'm hungry, we gotta go, end it now. Now, it's time for the best part though, the taste test. Oh, so soft. Wow. Mm. Mm. Wait, guys. I might have to get back to you after this meal. Guys, that is amazing. Mm. Oh, wow. Best fish I have ever had in my entire life. I am really excited for this meal. I hope you guys decide to make this. I really hope that you do. I hope you enjoyed the video. This is an awesome meal. Uh, yeah, I don't know what more I can say about that. You just have to be here to actually experience this taste right now. If you enjoyed this video or this meal, be sure to drop a like or a comment below to show me some love. And guys, don't forget to check out my trip to Seattle. I'll see about putting an annotation for that right up in the corner right here so you can see my two vlogs that I did of my time in Seattle. So definitely take a look at that uh, and let me know what you think on those as well. You know. Again, if you enjoyed this video, or if you can think of somebody that might actually enjoy this meal or this video, make sure to share this video with all your friends and family. Spread around the word of all the deliciousness. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. And speaking of Facebook, I actually uh, do create recipe sheets for you guys, and I upload the images of those for you guys to save and keep and share and all of that good stuff. Those are uploaded to my Facebook, uh, so again, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. The links for those are in the description below. I will actually also go ahead and include the recipe in the description below, so if you prefer to read it there, uh, you're more than welcome to do so, but just so you know, I do have an official, an official savable copy of the recipe sheet on my Facebook, so be sure to like, follow, and subscribe to me there. It's well worth it if you want to have a savable copy of this recipe or if you want to see just the normal day in the life of the cooking millennial. Guys, I upload videos every Wednesday and that's all for you. You can count on it every Wednesday. So make sure to subscribe to me on YouTube so that way you get alerts and notifications about when I upload and you can stay up to date on all of my latest delicious meals. I love you guys to death. Make sure to smile as much as you possibly can. 
think positive, and enjoy every moment that life brings your way. And as always, don't forget the wine.